Hey everyone, welcome to our live. My name's Ken and this is Sean and together we are Ken's Creations Chocotour. Now, what is Chocotour? Well, Chocotour is a high-end DIY home decor company taking the industry by storm. It's DIY so easy anyone can do it and you get amazing results in just seconds. Now, how can you experience Chocotour? Well, the first way is you can shop at our Chocotour site. Just head to chocotour.com forward slash Ken's Creations. There you'll find our transfers, our amazing Chocology paste, our incredible Chocology ink, some pretty amazing surfaces, and we even have products to organize all of your new chalky goodness. Plus, in May, we're excited to host our Transfer Palooza. <laughs> what is Transfer Palooza? Well, when you buy three chalk transfer designs on our chalk site during the month of May, you'll get your fourth free and there's no limits. So if you purchase eight transfers, you'll get the two lowest price transfers for free. When you're on the website, make sure you are supporting Ken's Creations by looking for our photo in the upper right hand corner. If it's someone else and you would like to support us, you can look us up by searching Ken and hitting select designer. Another way to experience Chalk Couture is become one of our Club Couture members. Chalk Couture Club Couture truly is the hippest club in town and it delivers happy mail to your door every single month. So let's take a closer look at the May design. This is the Sweet Lemon Grove. Designer will get this exclusive B-size transfer, three Chalkology Paste singles, YouTube how-to video, and step-by-step -step PDF instructions. And you can follow along and make this adorable project. Every single month, not only do you get a beautiful project, but you get some amazing benefits like $4.95 flat rate shipping and access to exclusive Facebook groups and private sales. Want to be part of our club tribe? It's easy. Look for the link down below in the description. That will take you to our website. Go ahead and add the Club Couture to your cart and finish the checkout process. Now, what would you say if I could tell you you could earn 40% off everything in the catalog? You could also get free product bonuses and incentives in fact i can show you how to unlock the opportunity that is right around the corner by becoming one of our designers on the ken's truckologist team it all starts with our 99 dollars starter kit this starter kit has everything you need to kick start your chalk journey so you can start sharing with your friends and family in fact, Chalk Tour knows designers are going to need supplies. So to help you get started, new designers can take advantage of a 15% off one-time discount when placing an order. This is in addition to your 40% off discount. And new designers kickstart their career with something called Designer Debut. Designer Debut rewards designers that achieve certain milestones in the first 90 days of their designership, which equals more free product. But wait, there's more. Attention, calling all previous designers. In the month of May, we're inviting all former designers to come back home to Chalk Couture. You can join Chalk Couture again this month without the requirement of purchasing a new starter kit. Plus, we've made coming home an easy process. Just follow these steps. Look for and click the Welcome Home Promotion link in the description of this video. Log into your account using your previous email and password. Did you forget your password? No worries. Select the Forgot Password link to create a new password. From there, finish the enrollment process making sure that Ken's Creations is your sponsor. Designers will be able to enroll and come back home to Chalk Couture. Now, if you have any issues or questions with this process, just reach out to us by email, which is also down below in the description. Now, customers join Chocator every single day for different reasons. Some customers just want that amazing 40% discount. Others want to sell the Chocator product. 
Some want to play with it and host workshop and classes. And people want to build team. Enrolling as a designer is easy. Head over to our website or use the link down below. Choose become a designer. Make sure it says Ken's creation so you are joining the right team. Scroll all the way to the bottom, hit join now and fill out the application. We cannot wait to welcome you to the team as a Ken's Chalkologist. And we want to make sure you are getting the most up-to-date information. So make sure to get your notifications on your favorite social media platforms. Stay up to date by subscribing to this channel and hitting that bell icon. Make sure to get all alerts by choosing all. Also go into your YouTube settings and turn on your notifications. Be the first to know when we go live. Make sure to like our page, hit the follow button and set it to see first and all notifications on. If you're on your mobile device, you can do the same thing there by looking up our Facebook page, hitting that like button, selecting the follow option. Make sure your notifications are on, see first, and you can even edit notification settings to make sure the standard notifications apply. Welcome to your weekend with Ken's Creations and Sean and obviously Cece because she has a ball. Do not take her ball away. She Thank loves you. her little ball. It, every time we go live, does Daddy Sean take your ball away? It's very sad. If you are, are you abused? Are you abused? She's abused. All right, guys. Welcome to a very special edition of our lives. We usually don't go live on Fridays. But we are going live for a couple reasons. Number one, I want to finish my patriotic wall, which we'll show you in just a second. And number two, I'm doing a shameless plug. And it is a shameless plug for our Watts of Love. So let me explain that. We will be live tomorrow from 1 to 6 Pacific Time on this YouTube channel where we will auction off projects we have made since September with proceeds going to Watts of Love. Now, the reason we're doing ours this weekend is next weekend, Chalk Couture Corporate is doing their Watts of Love Chalkathon. You can join that one on May 15th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. This is in the Chalk Central Facebook page. So if you just look up Chalk Couture, it is the official page. Now, I have set myself and Sean and everyone else a goal to raise funds for uh, Watts of Love and for our amazing families in Malawi. Now, um, I would love, my goal is to get to 10,000. We will see if we get there, but here is what's so cool about this. Anyone who uh, is a designer can host their own chalkathon. I know Sage Roberts, Vintage Charm Creations. You guys all love her. I know I'm doing one. I'm sure there's a ton of designers. And last year, we got a lot of feedback on, I wanted to go to your auction, but I was on the Chalk Central, and I was on this designer and this designer, and I felt like we're not going to do that. So I actually even reached out to Sage and said, when are you going to do yours? Because she is way more talented than me. She's pretty good. <laughs> and so I'm like, I don't want to compete with that. <laughs> so I'm doing ours tomorrow. Hopefully we get to our goal. We like to have fun during these trackathons. For those of you who do not know what I'm talking about, let me show you here. I'm not going to show off all my lights and get dramatic, but... The whole reason we do this is something called Watts of Love. Watts of Love is a charity that is near and dear to uh, Chalk Tour's heart, but also to our heart, and I'll tell you why in just a second. But the reason we found this organization is our CEO, Christine, really wanted to find a women-driven cause that no one else was doing that really believed in the same philosophies and ideas we did and it is a perfect matchup if you ever have the chance to meet the ceo of watts of love you are going to see why i adore her and everyone that works there now we were very fortunate sorry about that she has a ball so it's now time to almost take it away um so we were very fortunate to uh go on the very very 
very, very first Malawi trip. And we got to do that because of all of you and your amazing donations. It was the trip of a lifetime and we learned so much. And what did we do? We literally were the inaugural trip going to Malawi. Watts Love had never been there. And we got to give out lights. And I am very fortunate that we were in the inaugural trip because I feel like we were kind of the start. And uh, four other designers went just about two weeks ago and all of them said, I wish you could see what we've started and you know, seeing what the lights have done for all of these families. It's just absolutely amazing. So I want to share just a little snippet of what we did in Malawi. All right, so there is just a little snippet of our journey to Malawi. I cannot even sum up the amazing memories we made there and uh, how much good you guys are doing for these people. Um, every time I watch that video, I tear up because it was that welcoming. Every time we went to a village, we were saying, we were given gifts, we were given hugs. Um, the kids all came up and wanted to play with our phones and see them on the, the footage. And I will be 100% honest, I didn't really want to go on the trip. I w was like, oh, I don't want to go on this trip. And Sean's like, are you crazy? And I just had anxiety. And um, many of you know that we were given a sign by my mom there and it just switched for me. And it's, you cannot sum up that experience. But I'm very much looking forward to next weekend because being Chalkathon's lots of love, we're probably going to hear from our co-founder, Sarah Newbold. We're going to hear from the amazing Brenda, SPG, Christine, and Sage, who all went there and gave out light. It was amazing to watch their journey. So I hope you join us tomorrow. I hope you open your wallets and bid on some of our uh, products and remakes and we're going to just have a lot of fun and raise whatever we can. We are raising money to literally give out these lights. Each one of these lights cost $50. There is four different settings on a light and I know it's not going to be as dramatic without... Oh, sorry, I hit the mic, but, well, I can turn, I don't want to turn off all the lights, but at least you guys can see that it's, so there's, there's different settings on the light. So you can see all the different settings, um, but what's amazing about this light is, can we go to this camera, Sonny? Yeah. So on the back of it is a solar panel. And when we trained them how to use this, we literally said, put this in the sunlight during the day so you'll have light at night. There's this um, strap so people can literally 
wear it on their heads and charge it. They can use it as a torch. They can do so much. And the, the stories that just warm my heart were parents that said, this light is going to give my kids education. Yep. I, I, it, it, it's so much. So anyways, um, I hope you join us tomorrow. Now let's get started with today. Uh, before I dive too deep, let's go ahead and show you a couple things. We are in May, so that means our May Club Couture is our adorable sweet lemon um, grove. I love this. I love where it says, uh, where troubles melt like lemon drops. So useful. Our Club Couture transfers keep getting better and better, y'all. These are so good. Now, if you want this transfer, it is only available to our Club Couture members and our designers. That's the only way you can get this transfer. Um, so if you are not a Club Couture customer, I'm telling you right now, you should be. You get amazing benefits, amazing exclusive promotions. Definitely reach out to us, okay? So I'm going to put that off. Also, our sample pack is here. So if you are interested, there is a link down below that you can order the sample pack. It comes with this cute little tag, a mini squeegee, shimmer shadow, and look at this adorable little transfer. Even gives you step by steps on how to make your project and all of our contact stuff. So there's a link down below. Check it out. All right. So we are here. Um, let me explain what we're doing tonight. We uh, have a wall at the bottom of our stairs that we change out for the season. I got it almost. Um, I got interest of it last year, ChalkCon around July, and I think it got delivered around September. We immediately put Halloween, then Christmas, then we did a floral display. Actually, we did Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, floral display. And I really wanted to do a patriotic theme. Now, you guys are going to laugh at me for those of you who watched my last live because all of you guys, everyone I think said, you really need to use the Eagle Transfer. And I said, no, we're not using the Eagle Transfer. <laughs> well, I put up... Oh, I put it up on the wall and I didn't like it and I got rid of what I did do and wait till you see this eagle and in shimmer gold. So we're going to show you kind of where we're at, what we've done, and then we're going to finish this wall up tonight. If it takes us an hour, great. If it takes us seven hours, Sean will be hungry, but let's take a look. So please no, excuse me. Nobody's going to be, uh, nobody will hear us because we can't oh, have a microphone. I will sit over there and sh I'll talk. Okay. I'll Hold talk. On. Hold on. Go for it, Shawnee. There you are. There's a studio. Go. Don't show our messy house, please. Oh, wait. Some, I know Kelly Vicker wanted to see what this looks like. I don't know if she's in the room, but that's what it looks like. All our paints and everything else. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Don't look at the mess. Don't look at the mess. Don't look at this. Don't look at this. Don't look at this. All right. So this wall um, is actually was built by one of my chalk sisters. Here's where we're at so far. Look at that eagle. <gasps> So we are going all in red, white, and blue. We already have our display up there using palette frames and Dollar Tree. We have the eagle in our box frames, our shadow box frames. Those were actually brought over from our last display. And I just did it in a red, white, and blue. And you guys, it took me a while to find my vibe with this wall because I usually don't decorate for 4th of July, but... I finally found it. Now we have to finish this and we are also making a display for the bottom of our stairs and the wall across from it. We're going all in, patriotic, red, white, blue, no summer. It is going to be home of the free and the brave. So we're gonna put some there. We're gonna put one there. We're gonna put one there. I want you to feel our patriotism when you walk down. Everyone loves your wall, Shawnee. My wall? That wall with all of our paste. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, the wall of paste. Wall of paste paint. Glazes. We actually are going to put shelves over here. Yeah, because we're running out of room. Okay, so we're going to get started. I'm going to let Sean switch over. Uh, while he's doing that, I just want to stress, I've gotten a ton of you reaching out. What is the Welcome Home promotion? If you were a previous designer, any time before today and you resign, you left, any reason, you can come back to Chocotour without buying a starter kit. Now, the biggest question I get is, do I have to join the same sponsor or can I switch? 
reach out to us if you have a question. Essentially, as long as it's been six months or more, you can change your sponsor, but you wanna make sure you look them up. Because if not, it's just gonna go to a random designer. If you have questions, let me know. This is only good through May. So if you're a previous designer, you can join for $19.99. You do not have to buy a starter kit. Very exciting, okay? So we're gonna start first and foremost with these bad boys. So I've been waiting for these to come in stock. Um, we are still waiting for our chalk made kit, but once those come in stock, I'll let you know. These are our star cutouts. And here is how they come. They come three to a pack. Super cute. And they coordinate with our star cutout transfer. Yay. So we're going to go ahead and have some fun with that. Move some of this stuff out of the way. If you guys have any questions on tonight's live, please let us know. All the links are down below on what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. Um. If you have any questions in regards to our policies, compliance, all that stuff, please reach out to me after the live. It is better for us to answer those during that time. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is cut this. Our transfers are amazing. If you don't know what a transfer is, think of it as a silk screen with adhesive on the back. And when I say silk screen, that's what I mean. It's got this mesh in here, and this allows us to get a really nice um, coverage using our Chalkology paints. Um, but anywhere you see these white lines, these are indicating that this is a cut apart transfer. Now, if you decide not to cut your transfer apart, that's fine. Just know that these white lines do go through the transfer, meaning if you didn't cut them and you were to use our paste or ink, anywhere you see white at the present time, it would go through. Hello, Miss Kate. Hello. As in our I know, male Kate. I know who the Kate is, Sean. Yes. She's not just Kate, she's the Kate. the Kate. Donnie Morningstar would like to know, how do we know if it's been longer than six months? You reach out to me. Just reach out. Yep, okay. you can, can you can call Chalkator, um, but Donnie, I can look at you because you were part of our downline and I can look at it. So reach out to me and I can get you that answer. All right. So this has a lot of different stars. You have one large star, we have two medium, you have two smalls, and then we have a lot of different sentiments. Now in the catalog, you will see them. Um, I always like to remind people, yes, we have star cutouts, but this transfer is awesome on its own. So don't forget that you can use these for a wide variety of things. I absolutely love how they mix it up here. We might do a little bit of that. Um, now, here is a tip for all of you beautiful people. Beautiful people. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So when we first, oh my goodness, just a sec. Just a sec. Just a sec. There's a lot of cords down here. Yep. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of cords. Okay. When we first got our cutouts, I love them. Ooh, I had a hard time lining them up until I discovered my little trick here that I love to share with everyone, and that's using an LED light pad. Now you can use, I have the just happen to have the Cricut, you can pretty much use anything. And what this does is it gives us the ability to line them up perfectly. Now these are brand new transfers, and if you guys know anything about new transfers, we know we need to fuzz them. I love this one. This is fireworks. We're definitely going to do this one. Fireworks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to answer Kim Edwards' question. She asks, do I cancel my club controller after I sign up as a designer? It automatically will actually do that. Once you sign up, mm -hmm. it'll still So if you are, I don't know if you're one of our club members or someone else, but you um, just log into your account at Chalk Couture, hit sign up, make sure you have the right sponsor, cannot stress that enough, and it will, as Sean said, automatically do it. Yep. All right, so you can see right now, if I was to line this up, I can kind of see the outline, but not really, until you get this, and then you can really see your outline to get it nice and even, and you can 
I don't even know which way is up on this. I should have paid attention. Um, I might have to look at my catalog. Because, oh, wait. Right I think there. that's it, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. So I love this trick. This is a trick I discovered accidentally, actually. We were cleaning up, and uh, I think Sean accidentally hit the bright pad, and I was like, oh my gosh, outlines. We can see them. So, mm -hmm. fun. I'm going to use the Shimmer Frost on this. Shimmer Frost is gorgeous. It's got beautiful colors in it, and it gives it a little bit of shimmer. And... Um, I'm going to mix it just with ever so little bit of gold. Now, I'm not going to be very picky on where this goes, but I will start with the gold in these starbursts, and then we're going to go from there. So for those that didn't uh, notice, Janet says, look at your rocket. Your rocket should be pointing upwards when you're pointing. Oh, your you're so smart. She's good. Thank you there, Janet. You're so, I, you are absolutely right. So smarty pants. Smarty party. She's a smarty pants. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so this Shimmer Frost, I'm going to be honest with you, is not really shimmery because we have been painting with white and some, or not painting, sorry, chalking with our white and I'll mix it sometimes. So this one does have a little bit more heavy um, of uh, the bright white paste. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my two fingers right here and have it attach to my, um, essentially my work area, so that way it doesn't shift. We don't want it to shift. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'm just going to pick up the gold. And I think I want to add a little bit more gold. Just like so, get that off. And then I'm gonna use some white. I know you guys are all like, oh my gosh, we're mixing colors. I know. It's okay though, it's fine, we're fine. I'm fine. This will last us hopefully through Halloween. So I, we had the flower one up since January. So it was uh, January, February, March, April, May, June. Yeah, we ended up a pretty good amount of time. Okay, so we're gonna lift that up. But first I need do, 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 do. Is that gold match or do I need more goldy gold? The one on your right is probably the best of the two. Now you guys will notice that I am not worried about my paste pulling up. Or excuse me, not Drying. my paste, my... I'll use this, I guess. Oh, this doesn't have the lid off. I don't want to take the lid off. <laughs> this is fine, right? Mm -hmm. Or do I need more gold? What do you mean more gold? You just don't want me to use shimmer. I know you. I know you mean what you're I don't want about. you to do glitter. What? I need like a good gold, bronzy gold. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Now I'm worried it is drying, but that's okay. I need like a bronzy gold. This one. He's not sure. And I still have to take this. I hate taking these off. Okay. Okay, so it kind of dried a little bit, which is fine. We're gonna grab our squeegee, get a little bit more of the shimmer gold in there, and just put it right back over. As long as you don't lift your transfer up completely, you can always lay it back down. Can't you, Shawnee? Mm -hmm, you can. Voila. Okay. Now, as long as it is still wet, uh, you can put glitter on it. Just know that um, it's instant. It basically instantly dries. Dries it. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing on our. Oops. Our blue star. Sean painted these, by the way. Didn't he do a fabulous job? And I used some uh, Dixie Belle paint. I used the the blue is cobalt blue. The red is honky tonk. Honky tonk. 
honky tonk red for the red, and the white is just their cotton, which is their bright white. Okay, so when I have a transfer I've already used, um, I'm going to use, and I'll let Sean explain this, my paste as the glue. What does that mean? So by using your paste as a glue, that means even though he's already used the, the transfer, it's, you know, places it on. But once you actually put paste on your transfer and it hits the surface, it literally makes your uh, transfer stick to the surface that you're using. And so it's really cool. So basically... This way he doesn't have to yep. sit there and press it all on and make it smear. Or go clean it. I can yeah. use it. Yeah. Thank you, Beth. Now I am putting this back into my white. I know you guys, some of you may be having a little bit of a heart attack, but that's okay because this is my, um, I call it my catch-all white, which means it, it, it was already bad to begin with. <laughs> so it is what it is, right? It is. Once again, you're going to lift it up. If there is any area where you're like, oh, I could do a little bit better, especially on the tips of the stars, the tips of the stars um, are the first thing that you're going to possibly see it not going through because people are afraid to push real hard on those tips. So I am going to add some glitter on this. Now, I'm going to clean this, but I will let Sean kind of explain. We get a question a lot on what's the difference between shimmer and glitter. So shimmer I'm is, go clean this. sure, shimmer and we'll kind of watch you clean. Uh, there it goes. So shimmer, ha from what we believe, is a mica powder additive to the paste, which is extremely tiny, which allows it to go through the uh, mesh part of the silk screen. Glitter, even if you got the most finest glitter, is still way too big to go through that. So glitter has to be done after you lift your transfer and that's that's the difference on this transfer here that he's cleaning um, he's cleaning both sides with a border eraser but now you're using he's using what's called a norwex enviro sponge on the scratchy side but it won't ruin your transfer or ruin the sticky side but it does help clean off Here's the shimmer on. yes think fast ready one two three it helps take out, especially if you're using cold water to take off shimmer and glitter not 100 but believe me it takes off quite a bit uh, let me show you what he is using here so it's one of these we love it now notice i'm only using cold water on this pot oops wrong bed so just cold water that's the best way to use your enviro sponge to get glitter and shimmer off again like i said it doesn't take it off 100%, but boy, I tell you, it gets it pretty darn close. So it's perfect. And then, of course, just um, put it up, uh, sticky side up, and let it dry. Oh, I need my. And now I am. Hi, Miss Allie. Um, Hi. Embrace the glitter. I try to embrace. I'm, don't get me wrong, glitter is beautiful. Glitter is beautiful. It's very pretty, but it is every. <laughs> Whoops, it is everywhere in this in this room. Everywhere. If you just point and I'll find glitter somewhere. It's just okay. no matter how much we clean, it's everywhere. So what I do, you can save glitter if you want. This actually isn't too much, so I'm actually just going to put this in my trash. And then over my trash, I'm gonna take canned air and very what I say very gently Keep use it. You don't want to do too much because it can, uh, it may blow your paste off. Um, so just be very, very careful. And I usually let it dry. Um, and also if you are not wanting it to hit certain areas, it's really important to let it dry completely your other paste. But you can see I am not pushing too much air out. Um, and then one of my other things that I love is this thing. And this is what I use to clean up my glitter. And this works pretty, pretty good. It's the uh, V7 Dyson handheld. It does, per it does pretty good. It was a little spendy, but it was worth it. All 
All right, you ready to see what it looks like? Mm-hmm. Look at that! Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. So let's put those cutie patooties off to the side. Do not, do not commit a crime if you use glitter forensics. We'll find, figure out who you are. <laughs> so true. Right. Yeah, the canned air really helps take uh, off the it's pieces It's way that, better than using like a blow dryer or something. Or your breath, you know. Oh, I'll spit all over it. So it's not, I'm not good at that. We have all the cool gadgets, says Kim. Well, over time I've gathered them and spent... Like, there's some things I will tell you, like, it's worth paying the money for. Mm -hmm. And that Dyson vacuum is one of them. Yeah, it is worth it, yep. Okay, so we are now going to turn our attention to the middle star. And we have a couple of options here. We have this, this, and these are small. So I think... I think you should because do I already both. have... What? I think you should do both. No? Yeah. Oh, okay. I like to mirror things, you know that. All right, you know that. I'm going to do this one. But thank you for your input. Yeah. I, as always, I value your input. So yes, the uh, stars is a chalk couture uh, surface that just came out. Those right here. They if were you... released last week. Yeah. Um, and uh, I know somebody said real briefly. Do you get credit if somebody buys those? As long as you buy it on. If you're not a customer, or if you are a customer, yes, you go to his site, which is down and below. You buy them, he gets the credit. But if you're looking at having more than $100 in your cart, please reach out to us because mm -hmm. we can save you money. Okay, I decided I don't want to use this. So this, I can show you how I put my transfer backing on uh, like this. I find it a lot easier. Uh, Miss Keller, welcome. Um, our auction tomorrow starts at 1 Pacific. Yes. Because we are, someone's coming to hopefully fix our lawn. Because it looks like poo poo. Well, it'll look poo poo until it starts growing again. <laughs> and stuff. Oh, yes. It is what it is, you know? Yeah. We can only do so much in the world, Sean. Yes. And Vicky, I do owe you a picture of the wall, so. Okay. So we are going to do straight up white with these. That'll be pretty. I'm going to bring out my little light pad. And we'll start with the blue. And once again, this trick, I'm telling you, is a must. I, I love this trick so much at leadership. I went to the person in charge of products, and I was like, I want a light pad. And they said, why do you want a light pad? And they said, that's how I line up our cutouts. And they were like, oh, my gosh, that's genius. I was like, I know. We need it. I don't want to keep sending people to Amazon. <laughs> Talisa, you can reach out to Can to find out where you can find buy the Norwex. Now, all of our cutouts, sometimes our cutouts will have a little bit of an overhang, just so that way you have that. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I don't spend too much time worrying about that. Okay. Right. We're going to grab bright white. And I'm going to stir this because I do have just a scotch of red in there. So hopefully it doesn't turn pink. Good. We're good. We're good. Creamy dreamy. Still waiting for my grige to come in, but. The new job is going well. And I, yes, I do love it. Today, though, I had to get up at 530. Take him to work. Yeah. We only have one car. We only have one car. And I had to be at the dentist at 9. Well, I was on the road at that time. And so I either was going to have to take an Uber or... Take me to work. So I took him to work. I couldn't go back to bed anyways. The dogs had me up. Those cutie patootie dogs. We are three weeks and counting on Mr. Hank. I cannot wait. The three weeks? Yeah, I think so. I, um, I think we might go see him this weekend. That'd be fun. All right. Oh, I can already tell a little bit up here I missed. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how we did. Oh, look at that. Beauty. Now, the USA looks like it's got missing stuff, but it's not. It's actually been printed that way to make it look like it's distressed. Uh, Lori, you can get light pads from Amazon for as little as, what, 
four bucks, sometimes fourteen, they, fifteen dollars. Yeah, yeah, they're not expensive anymore. Yeah, just go, just go to Amazon, put in Lightpad, and a whole bunch will pop up. And just get whatever you want. I think they officially called them tracing pads. I yeah. Think. Um, but yeah, you they're. It's okay. We'll put glitter on it. Yeah. We're gonna glitter the nibble out of this. It's so funny. I don't know if you guys are like this, but I was not feeling this wall. And even told Tron, I was like, oh, I don't like those. And that's when I did the eagle. And I was dreading doing it. And then once I kind of found my vision today, I was on like Donkey Kong. I was like, okay, we're doing this. And we're, Tron can always tell you. He's like, oh, someone's back in the game. <laughs> um, did you call the new puppy Hank by accident mm -hmm. i've right. said hank a lot because of our new puppy right. next door all right the puppy we were next going door hank. we were going to name him hank and then they got a puppy and literally like meet hank and sean's like well we're not using that name yeah. and then we were going to use jack and we couldn't because they have a dog named jack yeah. so and then when we got there it was already decided once we decided to go with him because he had a they kept calling him hunter green i was like what do you and i didn't even say what do you think i said what and sean's like i love hunter i love it hunter he goes, it's, that's decided. Even it's Allie says, did you name him Hank? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Jeremy says, what did you mention about if we have $100 in our cart to go get a hold of you first before we order? Mm -hmm. So there you go. The reason why um, is there is three ways to experience Chocotour. And two of the ways gives you where you don't have to pay full retail. So reach out to me. Reach out. <laughs> is the sample pack on the designer website or is this sample pack only on your website? The sample pack is actually only on our website and only through the app. The link I've given you down below is the app um, link. But while I go clean this, Sean can show you the sample pack again. Yeah, let me show you the sample pack. Sure, I'm on the right. Camera, yeah. So once again, um, you when you go and order a sample pack, uh, they'll get your name, your email address, and stuff, and everything. And you'll, it'll come here. It'll have your address on here. And when you open it up, and I we ordered one through me, so I could get it, see what it looks like. Once you open it up, it'll tell you exactly all about the goodies, goodiness. What's what do you like about Chuck Dirt? Blah 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 blah. And then all of his uh, uh, platforms will actually be all up here and down here and stuff. When you open it up, you, you see exactly this. Mini squeegee, mini door tag, a mini uh, transfer with a shimmer shadow to go right on there. And behind this, if I was to flip it over, there is some ribbon to kind of create that. It's a black and white ribbon. I think it's uh, checkered shaped. Uh, but so you get this as that. And then um, if you really have never Friday. seen anything about it, we then um, will reach out to see what you now. thought about it and if it's something you would like to see, uh, learn more about. So that is what it looks like. And it's $7.95 US and it's like eight something in a Canadian. And it does ship from Canada, so it doesn't have to cross the border. And it ships from like Minneapolis or Minnesota from the US. Pretty cool. We love it. So I'm just taking the extra glitter, putting it in the trash. I'm not saving it just because it's... Did I just hear someone meow? She doing... Oh, okay. So we'll show you that here in a sec. Let me go ahead and clean up my glitter mess so Sean doesn't completely hate me. Oh, for those who are new and didn't know, I have a part-time job with the a local school district uh, becoming a bus driver. I'm an aide right now, but I'm learning. I will be learning to be a bus driver once I get my writtens done. Look at how pretty that is. That. I know it's gorgeous. Look at it. That looks nice. All right. Last one is going to be on white, which I did very deliberately. We're going to use Candy Apple and um, Cadet. Now, I tell people all the time when people say, do I need a catalog? You don't need a catalog, but there is so much inspiration in this catalog. Oh, yeah. I get a lot of my inspiration here. So 
We are literally going to copy this from the catalog where they did um, the Stars and Stripes. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start. Uh, Madeline, anybody can order a uh, kit, a little mini kit. Yes. Any, anybody, doesn't matter. This is true. Yeah. Some people can pay for it themselves or we could pay for it depending on what we want to do. Should be from here down, right? Mm -hmm. So it's one, two, three, four. I want red. I want one, two, three stripes. So one, two, three. Yep. So grab our red. I'm going to do this one. We're then going to um, grab the other star and do the exact same thing. And then we'll clean both transfers at the same time. Actually, I'll probably let these dry so I don't accidentally pull it up. So our new paste is Creamy Dreamy. Uh, you just want to, ooh, Riley. Oh my goodness. Did you do it? Ooh, girl. <laughs> oh my God. What did you eat, little mama? Whoa. So our Creamy Dreamy, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by someone's gas issues. Um, it's amazing. It does take a little bit longer to dry. When I'm cleaning these, Sean will show you how we use the quick try tool mm -hmm. to speed up that process and what that is different than a hair dryer. Because anytime you are layering anything of ours, you're going to want to make sure um, that your first layer is nice and dry. Sweet. So let me go ahead and get this one. I'm gonna go clean this and Sean can show you the quick dry yep. tool. And I'm gonna answer, why do I keep seeing a light pop off? Oh, well. Because it's a light pad. It's like one of these up here. Oh, right. I don't know. So Monique asks, uh, how, long, how long can a former designer rejoin? You have until the end of the month to rejoin. The end of this month to rejoin and it does not matter how long ago you were a designer, even if it was a Back in 2017, when they became a company, you can rejoin for $19.99 without getting a uh, kit. All right, quick dry tool. Second side, just remember don't put your hands over this, this is the intakes. It's quite weird how this thing starts getting louder and louder. Or not louder, but faster and faster. What? How this gets, when you first start off, it starts getting faster and faster. Yeah, it's crazy. See, and that's even faster now. It's almost like a, an airline jet getting ready for takeoff. That should be it. Done, done. Okay. So the big thing you want to pay attention to, and, and you'll hear Sean say a lot, you will get a feel for it, or you will find your own way, and it truly is true. When I first started with Chalk Couture, I was always afraid I was gonna pull the other layer up, and I was always like, oh, is it dry? Really, it comes down to a look. So if you take your surface, once you put your paste on, and kind of do this in the light, it's going to go from a high gloss to a flat. Once you get to that flat, you're, you're good to go. Now, you still want to fuzz this transfer. And the reason why a lot of people say, why do you want to fuzz your transfer? Doesn't that get rid of the stick and all that good jazz? The fact is, is... Our transfers are a piece of material, so like a material, fabric can stretch. But more importantly, when you're using a layer below, if you do not fuzz and let that layer dry, you potentially could pull up yeah. that layer. Um, Monique, yes, you can sign up. If you've been gone more than six months, you can sign up under anybody you want. So, yep. 
So if you've been gone for a while, you do not have to sign up for your, uh, your old upline as long as it's been more than six months. Mm -hmm. Well, Talisa got a stars and a purple lid. Purple lid, purple lid. I will show you the purple lids. Yeah, for those of you who don't know what it is. We're making it way more fancier than it sounds like. Everyone's like, I got a purple lid. Yeah. Basically, it's, we don't, we, Trocator has exhausted the resources for, um, lids. <laughs> for lids. And so. And even white lids. I yeah, guess. we got rid of white and now we're on to purple. Yeah. I guess purple is one of the few colors nobody can care about. Uh, Tara Young says, please tell me the trick of cleaning large transfers. I just spent 10 minutes cleaning up American the Beetle and it just kept sticking. If you don't have a big sink like we do, use your tub. The tub works great. Um, just lay it out flat. Make sure, just make sure there's water on the bottom. So if you accidentally just throw it, throw it sticky side down, it might stick to the tub. It'll still come up, but just make sure it's a little wet and just and go from there. Know the expectations of cleaning. A lot of people think that just because our transfer stain, like the transfer I just used with red, it stained mm -hmm. and that's not going to come off, but the transfer itself is still good. Um, we've seen transfers be left out for days yes. and still get cleaned and yep. used. Yep. I've seen Sean go into people's houses and clean their transfers for them or their tools it? because he's like, oh, I can't. I just can't. I'm like, Sean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. And he's like, it does. The bad thing is, is he doesn't even ask. He just goes in and starts snooping. I'm like, Sean, and then he'll make a point. He'll be like, look at this. They don't care. They're going, somebody's cleaning my stuff. And I messed this one up. I went a little bit too low. So we'll see if I have to fix it. I don't think so. It'll I don't think it'll be it'll that be noticeable. Fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, see? No problem. I don't even see a problem. Is there a thing on there? There's a freaking dog hair. So Sean can show you what dog hair does. Is that it there? Yes, it's on both of them. It's on both of them. So, so I'll uh, fix it, but Sean can show you why it's so important if you have dogs to check. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can kind of see. You can kind of see it already with the white um, splotches there. There, and of course right there. So there was a piece of dog here, or at least something fuzzy or something. So it didn't go through. That's why you always, if you do have dogs, make sure your transfers are clean and dog hair free. You, Priscilla, you can come and clean my house anytime. Eh, I don't mind cleaning. Well, Lori, we're going to miss you tomorrow, but I hope you have a great Mother's Day. And hope you do. We may do that too on Sunday. But yeah. No tub at your house? Isn't that like against most codes? Most places have to have a tub unless you purposely took it out. Okay, so if you have dogs, fur animals, and that happens, I always tell people, check the transfer. It truly could be an error with the transfer. But if you if it's dog hair and you'll know right away, you can fix it. We just want to make sure this layer is dry. So we're going to turn on my quick dry tool, which is on the second setting. Don't we'll cover the holes. And I'm sure Sean told you it looks like an embossing gun, but it's not. No, a lot of difference in temperature. This gets to only 150. Heat bossing guns will get up to like 350. So you can see it's a big difference. All right, so a couple things. Number one, if you have any areas that are white and need to be fixed, your first go-to should be our chalk pens. You can get in there um, and fix it. However, if you want to, you can use what I'm using now, which is the paintbrush. Sean always gives me these for Christmas. Mm -hmm. He usually goes on Amazon, finds one. We try them out to see if we like them. They're a stocking stuffer. Um, and usually at a year mark is when I need them anyways. Uh, and we don't have a preference. He just finds, I think you look up miniature. I do, I do detail brushes and then you get a whole array of different prices, mm -hmm. different types. Um, I'd like to find some that are metal handled because you like to put yours in water mm -hmm. and let them soak and then the wood starts kind of splitting. So now, first of all, it does not take a lot. We're going to put a little bit in our color tray. Oh, can you get that, Johnny? Mm -hmm. 
And um, we're gonna put a little in our color tray, a little bit distilled water, and I'm just going to uh, stir it. Our paste is naturally, it's pretty, I think it's thicker. It's, it's thinner than it used to be, but when you are fixing mistakes, you really want it thin. You want it more on the thin consistency. Yeah. Almost like pink paint. Yep. And so I'm just going to dip it in and you'll notice I do not use it as if it was a brush. I'm going to do kind of a dabbing instead. And why is that, Mr. Sean? Um, you may accidentally rehydrate more of the paste itself and you really don't want to do that. And you could, yeah. Uh, you, you might accidentally... Um, if it was layered underneath of it, like if we did white chalk paste underneath of it, it would, like Sean say, rehydrate, mm -hmm. and now you're fixing that mistake. Yeah. So I'm going to fix this blue, and there's a few little spots of white, so I'm going to um, put away my blue. Always grab a new paintbrush if you're going to white. Even if you think you 100% got it clean, chances are mm -hmm. you didn't. Uh, Tierra, are we using Creamy Dreamy? Yes, all our paste now is Creamy Dreamy that we have here. Uh, there is one color that, or do have- Grige. We, it's I the, haven't yeah, gotten Grige yet. Grige is the only one we don't have, but everything else is Creamy Dream. And really someone asked me when Creamy Dream first came out, they said, Ken, are you going to get them all? And I said, no, I'll just slowly. And then once I used Creamy Dreamy, I was like, uh, yeah, we're getting them all, Sean. Yeah. And then he was like, do you really think we need to do that? And then he used it and he was like, yeah, we need it. It's a huge difference. Yeah. Uh, Kim Edwardson, you're going to have to reach out and let us know what you mean by... I tried to sign up, but it says I already have an account. Oh, so yes. Um, that's Remember, we had to send some people in because of... But the, she's, a, she's a club couture person. It now, sometimes does that. Oh, okay. So reach out to us with your email, and we'll have them reset your yeah. account. So um, let me know, and it's an easy fix. I just need to reach out to our IT department at yeah. uh, Chalk Tour. So, all right. So that is fixed. Yay. All right. So I am going to let Sean talk with you guys for a quick sec while I go put these up, and that way you guys can see it while I get our I'm next I'm turn project. on this light and see how really bad it is. Ooh, that's hot. Too bright, too bright. I need to find a smaller bulb or a less bright bulb. All right, let's see if I can figure out Did you throw out your old paste? No, we actually have some of our old paste sitting off to the side somewhere um, that works. Sorry, I'm shaking my table here. Um, it's still usable. We have some that are still really good. That's not even cottage cheese style. So we have some that are still very good. Uh, but everything has been switched over to the creamy, dreamy stuff. So it looks really good. And we're loving it. Yeah, Lori Ramirez says she loves it too. You can paint with it. Absolutely. You can what? Lori um, Ramirez says, I love the Creamy Dream. You can paint with it because it's, it's so good. It's so it's good. really nice. So I have some of those, some people like to do almost like a paintbrush or, or um, watercolor painting with some of the transfers by doing it. You just water down the, that is really good. Let me see if I missed out on any other questions. Mm-hmm. I have to go through all these big things. Sorry. Yeah, looks good. So Becky Moore back a little while, he says the advantage of the light box or light pad um, that you can line up a transfer better. Yes, that's exactly what we do. And we know that a lot of people love that tip because it's much easier to um, do that. So it works out well. Some people even, if you have like a, a, a iPad Pro or even just an, an older iPad, just bring up a white light of that, to go show it'll work. Them. It'll work great. And then I'm gonna get ready our next project while you go show them the- computer. What are we doing? What am I doing? Go show them what it looks like uh, out oh, on yeah. the display. And while you do that, I'm gonna get ready give our me, next project. Give me Uno Momentum, I'll set some things up. I had to turn it off. Right. Now, I already know what you guys are going to say. Oh, you cut off the United States on the Eagle. That was my intention kind of from the beginning. Um, the stars were going to cover that, so I hear you, but it's all good. It's all good. Now i got to go here, here, here. 
Yes, here we go. Now, you won't hear her, Sean. You'll just see him while I get yeah. the project going, but... If Vicki Keller's still here, if I do this, that kind of shows you what it looks like. Sorry, excuse me. With it, Sean. What am I thinking? It's looking awesome. All right. What, yeah. do you guys think? what do you guys think? Let me see what they said. Will Grease become Creamy Dream? Yeah, it will. I think it's the only one that they haven't released. Or if they did, I missed it. Uh, wings will be back next week. It was supposed to be this week, but it got pushed back another week. But it does say next week. Mm-hmm. You are not supposed to have fall. So Vicky was out enough uh, time to see what I had over there. I can also do this. I think. See one, four. Yeah, there you wow. go. So basically, those this wall I have uh, one uh, two by six shelving just all inside the uh, blank wall and, and that's what it looks like okay so sean can explain why i'm putting twine on the back of this so you may have noticed or you may not have noticed on the blackboard part of that uh, wall design thing um, it really has nowhere to put. We're not using that chalkboard itself. We're using our own chalkboard like this. And we're using a uh, command strip with a hook on it. So we're, and there's no anything big enough for that uh, piece that he's got here. So we use the twine to make it hang. And we actually do this even on our walls because Sean yeah. doesn't like putting multiple holes in our wall. Um, so a lot of these, I understand why they have it this way and why they, you know, for hanging and stuff. But we prefer, like I said, not to put a ton of holes. So we just... Monique has now signed up as a designer. Oh, thanks, up, Monique. Misfit Crafter. I hey. love Misfit Crafter. Yeah, she's awesome. So I'm going to put this pretty taunt because it's going to naturally hang a little bit. I don't know if that would work. I'm gonna look. Oh, that works. Bounce it off the wall. All right. So, normally I do not take the corners off of our projects. Not because I think it looks so cool, but because um, we, as you guys know, tomorrow are doing an auction. So we normally auction these things off. Um, but this time I will take it off because we'll have it up for a while and all that good jazz. I use um where are my uh snips to get these out and i'll let sean do it because i don't have patience mm -hmm. no mango pie uh what are we flying into nashville uh tuesday the 15th but i think we come in kind of late it's not i don't know how late but kind of late because we have to do we have to be here in time for the um or for him the couture night and by that time you would so we had to be a day before that happens unfortunately they changed our flights stupid delta we were supposed to leave like like late morning or very early afternoon now they got us leaving at 6 a.m on sunday and i do not like it
Almost done. What do you want, little girl? Uh -huh. You can't have your ball. Sorry. Ta-da! All right, let me see what else is going on. I am trying to look at this. I'm gonna tap. Uh, Dana, you can sign up under anybody that you want. If you've been if you've been gone for more than six months, you can join join up under anybody. If it's less, it has to be the same person you run under. It does not matter what state they are in. A lot of our people are back east. Um, we have some people in Hawaii, Alaska, everywhere. So it does not matter. You can be they can be in any state you want. He got the fans at the dollar store. Did you not? What? The the dollar store, did you get the fans? What fans? The fans that are out there. I don't have a fan. But did you get the fans at the dollar store? The ones I that, do not have a fan. Not you, them on the board. Where on is the there board. a fan? Tell me where a fan is. Come okay. Here. Show me the Hold fan. On. Oh, the American plate fan. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I got them at the Dollar Tree. Sorry, Sean. I'm sorry. I'm using it as a backdrop, so I was like, a fan. I didn't put a fan. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I got them at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I'm I'm on board with you now, Sean. Uh, Jennifer, we know because we're uh, your only designers really know when things come back because there's a list that they can look at in their back there. But let's be on here. Can you change your camera? Yeah. Let's be honest. They literally update the list last minute. So like Sean, literally, I said yesterday, I said. Sean, there's a product release, and he immediately went to it, and he was like, fans aren't coming back in. This isn't good. Wings. <laughs> or wings yeah, aren't coming back in. in. They this were isn't supposed good. to. <laughs> Little girl, would you stay down? So he was yeah. like, oh, people want the wings. I was like, well, Sean, we can't make the wings. and so. But a lot of uh, inks got in stock this week, which we've been out of inks for a while. Look what I found at... At Walgreens. Ah, yes. Watermelon Berry Sweetheart good. Collision. Those are actually pretty good. They're really good. So we're going to do America the Beautiful. I'll show you how to clean a big transfer. Um, also, this is a great transfer to show you when I say, um, Hi, Miss Vicki Keller. How are you? Hi, hi. Um, Just so you guys know, I uh, not to put her on the spot, but last year... Vicky, I think, was number two for highest watts of love yep. donations. Yep. She's a designer. I want to say it was close to ten grand. I could be wrong. You, would, she would know. I but it was pretty. It was pretty good. You guys, her, your heart for that cause is so big. Mm -hmm. I don't want to cry, but thank you so much for supporting, not only all designers, but that amazing organization. Tira Young says, John, her, her son John David says hello. His auntie is Jeannie Killian. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hello, John. All right. So which way am I going here? Here it is. We're going to go ahead and... Off, please. Do you have a ball? No, she's got the ball. Sierra. She just won't leave me alone. You are being a turd ball. Are you being a turd ball? But I love you. You're a cute little turd ball. So Lori asks, so how come you don't mix your new creamy dreaming with the rest of your older posts? Oh, we don't... Sean would not allow that. I would not like are that. Are you kidding me? No, no. Sean would... I... I do not clean our paste anymore. I barely touch it. If I mix colors, he's in charge of that. And it, this is what he does. When I go, oh, I'm going to use Cadet, he opens it and goes, Eeks. really? <laughs> you didn't use the hockey puck. Let me show hockey you stick, what a creamy... Yeah. Uh, this dog. Well, get your paws off here. Get your cute little paws off oh, there. she's on the other side. Look. No, just go above. You'll see them. Yeah, no. They're right there. Yeah, you get those paws! <laughs> Um, what breakout group are we in? Uh, well, for us, I think we're in Jovi, I think. Bon Jovi? Uh, yeah, but we have team members in all of them because yeah. they opened a whole bunch. Can you please let me do this live? Can I? Please. I know you want to play with your ball so bad. You're going to go Ooh. outside again. She doesn't play with Ryos. It makes me yeah, so mad. Horrible. Okay, so we are going to use Cadet, Candy Apple, uh, Bright White, and Shimmer Gold. And I think I'm going to do white, wait, no, 
I'm gonna do these in gold. America in red. Should I do the rest in blue? Cause that would be a good, yeah, okay. Um, I just thought I saw something. Hoping to get to meet you guys at Chalk Con. Wish I was on your team. You do not have to be on anybody's team. You can, we, can be, we don't care where you're from. Just come up and say hi. And don't be shy. Just say, hey, I'm so-and-so. I watch your lives and we'll be great to take pics with you and everything. If they want to pick. If they want to pick. That's what we're trying. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to do a paste and peel method. And Sean can explain that as I do it. But basically, when I do paste and peel, I divide it into three. So we'll do up here, then down here, and we'll finish with America. This way, you do not feel the stress of, I need to get this off and stuff. You can go in very easy patterns. So we're going to start with our blue right here. Mm, no, we're gonna do. Um, yeah, we're gonna do blue here because yeah. the blue is not gonna show up as much. Chalkon is in Nashville this year. We've never been. I'm so excited. And then we are in Washington State, Lori, on the east side of it. We're on the west coast, Sean. East. We're on the east side of the. We are literally the... on the west coast. Yes, but our city is on the oh, east side of the yeah. state. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I'm having some communication issues with you today, aren't I? Not hearing what you're saying. Okay, so I have just done this part. And what your goal is, is to peel using your detail tool. I'm going to turn it around so I don't have to stretch the dry. And the biggest thing you want to watch out for here um, that a lot of people will do is if you drop this and it hits your transfer down below, um, it can uh, transfer that piece. So just be careful. Yeah, don't worry. And we're just going to turn on our hair, or hair dry, our quick dry tool on the second. And we are just going to get it to where we know it is a dry surface. And then when we lay it back down, um, we just want to look for any bubbles that might have. Yeah, it does. That looks like that Canadians can't make it this year, but is it at their country though? That it's their come? it's their country camp. Across That's the what borders, I thought. So. It's okay, over. so we are gonna now go down below, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do white. Yeah, we could see all kinds of new people this year. I'm excited because we didn't get to do it last year. I know. And Trotcon is my favorite event. It is a party. It's my favorite catalog because I love summer, uh, fall, winter. So I cannot wait. Yes. And it's going to be a different experience regardless because it's it's COVID, y'all. But Yeah, Stacy Gwynn says, Nashville isn't too far from me. I'm on the Virginia, Tennessee line. And I was so excited for the one last year in Florida and was sad when COVID. I know. It is. And we so... were going to go a little early and do uh, Disney World, but now we'll do it again for the, the other thing. Yeah, we got to. Yeah, we got to talk about that one. We got to talk, baby. <laughs> no, Key West was only for Master Katuri. Master Katuri is. Yeah. They're there right now. They are. They're there. They're there. They're there. They're there. They're there. Oh, dog hair. Man. Uh, CC, I blame you. Does the blue show up more in person than on camera? Yeah. Mm, a little bit. But not much. It's a, it is a dark blue, but it is pretty. We have to fix that. Okay, so all we're doing now is the red. Um, for the person who asked, does the blue show up? It doesn't. So you know what? I will take that as we need to add glitter. <laughs> glitter, glitter. So Yvonne is asking, uh, do the virtual vibe people get the new catalog early too? I do. All designers get a catalog. Yeah. I don't know if you'll get it early. I, I don't want to misspeak and say you will. Um, I know that in person we get it at the event. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the perks of going to an in-person. I don't know how they are handling that. You will get it with your... That catalog will launch in 
I think you'll get it with your July transfer, if I remember right. Yeah. That dog is farting, and it is bad. You're a horrible little girl. Or it's you, and you don't nope, get the heat. Not me. Sean, is it you? Nope. So on a, a design like this where we're doing red, if you are a heavy-handed chocolate, meaning you Squish. push a lot, you want to make sure you just check your lines. And now we are going to add a little bit more paste on here so I can add glitter. Are you going to do a, like a bright blue glitter? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm going to give Sean this while I pull it up. And then I do have one spot I'm going to have to fix. Um, we try to write on the back of our uh, backer sheets just so we know which one goes to which. But not always. We try to guess. Oh yeah, that'll work really nice. Okay, so whoever was asking about big transfers, let's go clean this. Sean can show you. Yeah. yeah. What's wrong, grandma? There we go. So please note that on a big transfer when I use red, I do use a new border eraser. Nice new border eraser does help. Um, first thing we're going to do, just throw it in there. These big tubs work really nice. And this is just a D size, so the E's even fit here. Curls up a little bit on the edge, but they all fit inside there. We're going to get the, the bulk of it off first with using our hand before we put it on the uh, bottom part of the tub. No matter what, it's going to stain. The red will stain it, even probably the blue, but it, it works. You just wanted to get it out of the, sh of the uh, silk screen part of the transfer. So once we get going, just start using your, um, let that water go. He's using a brand new one, even though we have a few up, up there. He just likes to use the new one because it helps a little better. But you don't have to if you don't want to. We just have a whole bunch of those. And as you can see, a lot of it's coming right off. Just go down, just start one side and go down one way. Start at the top, work your way back to side to side or top to bottom, it doesn't matter. You, you just, it's hard to go back and forth, back and forth, unless you're doing a little small area. Then it works okay. And even you can even see the blue that's starting to stain, but that's okay. It's totally fine. Yes, Jennifer, this would make a great wood wood flag okay you flip it do the other side now we're going to do the flip side the sticky side you can even still see some of the redness even in the screen of the america part and once he uh, uses that border race it'll come right off okay it comes right off all nice and clean yet it'll be stained on the other side but no big deal Sorry, Stephanie, this is the last piece we're doing, so we can't do an ombre, but I believe we have a video somewhere in, on YouTube on how to do that, and we're, I think we might even be redoing a new one. So you can see the blue and the red. Since that's a little tiny spot, he can go back and forth, and a lot of it does kind of come up by using the uh, Enviro sponge, but it will not be completely 100% back to perfectly normal. Jeannie Duval. We have a city in Washington or town called Duval. Let him know the key is not pushing real hard. It's using cold water yeah. and gently going over it. Yeah, it looks like he's putting a lot of muscle into it. He's not. He's just going back and forth on top of it. Just back and forth using the, the scratchy side of the Enviro sponge. And then if there's any uh, glitter or if there's any... Uh, Shimmer, just use cold water, and use the that. Part is just the mesh anyways. Yeah. Okay. 
And there you go. Now you're going to put it on our drying rack. Uh, so you can up. see that it still is stained a little. Yeah, a little bit, not bad. And you just don't want to rub so hard that you tear your transfer. Yeah, don't want to tear, don't normally, want to rip it off. to be honest, I wouldn't normally scrub yeah. that much, but I really wanted to show anyone that was struggling with their yeah. transfer. So the, yeah. Don't put that hard pressure because especially with that Enviro sponge, if you do that, you can literally, especially on the sticky side, really take that stickiness right off of that. And you really don't want to do that. It's just going over nice and light and it'll eventually come Shoot. off. So really good. Shoot. What happened? My detail tool. I'll be right back. I need to grab my can of air. It's out there. Okay. Can air for a little bit of the do, glitter do, do, removal. Do, 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 Bite, bite, bite. The itchy and scratchy show. So he's just using that. Maybe I can do this. He's just using the spray, of the canned air, to get it all off. Especially when you get it in in the little parts of the letters and whatnot. If you use canned air and it starts slowing down, the best thing to do is put it under hot water. I just messed up my design. Uh oh. So I'm gonna have to. Go put this under hot water and see if I can. Good morning, gang. Miss T again over in Australia. I hope everything is you know hunky dory Actually, over there. It's kind of cool, but I need to add. I don't know. Uh, do I redo? Uh... Is there something oh, yeah, on there? I, hear. I accidentally put blue on the red and it wasn't dry yet. Oh. You didn't show him what happens when it's not dry. This is what happens when your stuff is not dry. He's got the blue right through here, the glitter. He even has it on some of the gold, too. If it doesn't come off, we can either redo it or just leave it. It'll come off. It's just that canned air was dead. Uh, so when your canned air dies, like Sean said, either get a new canned air or... Oh, just run hot water in it. Oh, yeah, right. I think that one's empty, though, so... Uh, Pam, uh, the red on uh, the Dixie Bell is uh, Honky Tonk. Tonk. It's their bright red. Tegan says good morning. Good morning. From Australia. All right, so I, um, I'm not superly happy about that. I'll fix it later. I just want to save time and uh, get on our, we'll probably do one more project um, because we would have to dry the America, but you know what, I will. We can finish with this project and do the rest next week. So that way you guys can see how you can fix this. There's more? I thought that was it. I could be wrong. No, there's three more projects, but I can do oh, them later. Okay. Remember I told you we're doing the bottom of the stairs? And oh, across. that's right. Yes, right. Okay, I have to go. You know what, Can you yeah. tell them what you're going to do, how we can use a transfer that's sopping went back to back? Sure. Yeah, we'll do that. Sean. And then we'll show them how to fix that. I was going to ask somebody. Uh, Kim Edwards says, are the chalkboard erasers chalk? Sure. Yes, they are. They have absolutely no soap, no chemicals, no nothing. It's just the sponge type thing. Yes. It's really cool. Okay. All right. Go ahead and tell them what you're doing. I will. So if you're going to use a transfer like this that's over, wash it, clean it, keep it wet, just shake off the excess. Yeah, but nice. you're going to want it really ice. Oh. It's pure syrup. I need water in it. What you want to do is grab your, if I can find it, maybe it's under here. There it is. Lay it sticky side down. Take your four inch squeegee, start squeegeeing the water off of it. I do the center work my way out. You can kind of see the water here. So all the water is now off this side. I mean the bulk of the water is all off of this. Take a towel or your fuzzing cloth. Wipe the outer edge real quick to get most of that bulky water off. Then pull it up. Make sure not to let it stick on itself. The great thing to do is like something like this, we just put it on the edge of our table just a little bit to hold it because it'll hold, it's sticky enough to hold. I'm going to take my towel again and dry this part off. 
get our two towels because we have a big transfer. If you don't have two of these, just grab a terry cloth towel. Let you dry yourself off with and just use it. Now we're just gonna do this. And the nice thing about this is that we actually have another one. We have like four or five of these. The itchy and scratch. What? We have itchy and scratchy show? No. See, do you want to be on the itchy scratchy show? You do want to be in the itchy scratchy show? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good job, son. This is still the sticky side. Just kind of flipped it over. You're a professional. You're a professional, Sean. And if you can see, we'll go potty. You can already see. Come on. Come on. Go it's potty. already sticky again. It's dry, sticky. Go go now, if I'm worried about not being completely dry, you can take a hair dryer or your dry tool. But I'm going to use a low, uh, slow setting, warm. Not hot because you'll melt it. Is she? She's a poop sickle. I know. Still has a little moisture on it. I don't want it. I want to make sure it's completely gone. Poop sickle. Poop sickle. Poop, 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 poop sickle. Okay. The itchy and scratchy show. Does anybody remember the itchy and scratchy show? Yeah, on uh, the Simpsons. What is it? Yeah! Sean, you know. You get it, girl. All right. You know I have to tell your brother I can't come over now because of tomorrow. <laughs> We are helping people in Africa. I know we are. Sean. Oh, shnikes. Okay, so this don't stress out. Don't stress, don't out. stress out. Just be very careful. This does help with two people, but you don't have to have two people. Just put it under cold water. Warm. Warm water. Ooh. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're going to line this up. Why are you yelling at me? I'm not yelling. Oh, you're getting mad at me because I'm young. You're young. Sean, I have one volume, and if you don't like it, move along. So, I really hate trying to line transfers mm -hmm. up, but we're going to try our best. Um, how long are the, are we Can able I get to your order, help? How long are we able to order the t-shirts? Until May, I want to say 30th. You're just doing the, the America part? Yeah. Love the stars. I'm going to use my gold okay. marker. All right. So it's just he is part. just going to sit here with me because I don't want him to put that part down. It, or maybe he does. Okay. Just going to quickly go back over this. Now, I'm going over the whole thing, even though I don't need it. And the reason why is, if not, it's going to have multiple layers of the red, but we are moving quick because we don't want this to reactivate the paste underneath of it because then it can be yeah, a little trickier. Okay, and we're just going to slowly pull right up and voila! voila. I'll let Sean clean this one so I can show you how we're going to clean our gold. Okay, so that's how you can easily fix it. Um, I tend to do this versus um, erasing it and starting over. The biggest key on that is drying it, making sure it's dry, and your other layer is nice and um, dry. Okay, so the stars, as you can see, we have oopsie doolies there. You can use gold. You can use a marker, but I'm just going to use our gold chalk markers. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see this. How do I zoom in, Sean? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like that. Don't you know, Bobby? Don't you know, Bobby? Okay. So I here's my marker, and I'm just going to do a little, a little dollop of Daisy. Now, our chalk markers are awesome. I love them. They are not chalk paste. 
They do not match our paste exactly. So if you're going to use them, I highly suggest kind of using them all over that star because if you just use them to fix your areas, you're gonna have no good. You're not gonna be happy. Also, I do not use the markers like I would normally write with my hand because it would reactivate that paste underneath of it and we don't want that. So, right here, let's fix these little cutie with cuties. Now, you can see the one to the left and right does not need to be fixed, but because we are doing this one, we do not discriminate. Segregation never. It, oh no, I hate when I know. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's fine. Okay, also our chalk markers do take longer to dry, so keep that in mind when you're using them. Fight, 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 fight. I don't know why that's stuck in my head, but it is, you guys. Okay. Let's, ooh, yeah, it's looking good in the neighborhood, eating good in the neighborhood. We're going to dry these cutie patooties. All right. I'm going to go. I'll be right back. There was a question earlier that I meant to answer. You get up to me. Um, Beth Harlow said, what was on the very top of that big giant uh, display that we're doing? Just beads, colored, painted red, white, and blue. They're just little beads. Pretty cool. It's beginning to sound like our house. Uh... Trying out for Broadway. He might be sipping and chalking. I don't know. Who knows? Yes, it's always possible with him. Do 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 do. All right. Make sure I didn't miss anything else. I don't know what he's doing back there. Answered that one. Yep. Looks like we answered everything. Yay. I don't get hyper like Ken does. Yes, I do get excited. But not quite like what he does. He's a little over the top. Tomorrow, Deb, if uh, it's going to be the YouTube that we are on currently. I know you're on Facebook, but it's going to be on YouTube. And I don't think I have an actual YouTube. So if you just go to YouTube and look up Ken's Creations slash Chocotour, it'll come up. We'll be alive one o'clock Pacific time. And his brother's going to kill me because I was supposed to help him build a wall. Betsy, I think he may be, but I don't know. Or that other thing that we can take in our state. Is it too heavy? No, I locked the backing. I was going to put another command strip and I locked it. Oh, the, lost the backing to the command strip. Should we go take a peek? I think we can go take a peek. Let's go take a peek. You can't hear me. I, you won't hear me or anything. You can't hear anybody. But you'll be able to watch. What? We're coming out to see you. No, yeah, I, it's no good. It's no good, Sean. No We're good. improvising right now. We're in improvisation mode. I'm kind of just peeking over the side here. Well, this might not. Is it? Is it because of what? <gasps> We won't go look. <laughs> it fell. Some of it fell. <laughs> it's okay. Sean. But it, it's fixable. Very fixable. Can you bring me my stapler? This is a 911. Somebody call 911. 
The uh, Dixie Bell Red we use is called Honky Tonk Red. Ron? Coming, I'm getting it. And then, um, I think we have command strips upstairs. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know oh, where. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Do you have another one? Yeah. You want to bring the Osmo show them what I'm doing? Or? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're going to show the mess? Yes, All right. Of course. Remember, we, you can't hear us. All you can do is just watch. Ba -ba -bum. Here we go. Brenda says you can hear. You could probably hear us if you had headphones on. It's probably like that. Yeah. Oh, no. You probably could hear them. Luckily, it's very easy to fix. Hey, Sean. Oh, yay, Morgan. Morgan. Say again? Will you grab a board eraser and you'll see where on our frame we have like yellow or something. Can you fix that? I'm going to go work on a it's right thing real quick. Hold on. You can take it back into the studio. Back in the studio? Yeah. That, no, it's right there next to my computer, but you can take it into the studio and get the, there's a little yellow nick mark. Don't be careful. It's the frame work. Yeah. I have to fix that too. Well, I'll fix that after the live. Frame broke. A little bit, but an easy fix for us. We got the tool. We've got the tools because it really fell hard. Basically, a little bit of something here got on there, and it looks like it's just a smudge. Let's get your trusty uh, board eraser out. Make sure it's a little moist. And just work on it. Don't say that word. Yeah, it's gone. Done. So it broke here. So we'll probably glue just this here when it dropped. We'll probably put some glue or maybe even, because um, this is somewhat thick wood, we can even probably put a staple right in here, get one of our shorter staples, where are we here, and put it just across here to hold it. But glue would work too, if we can get it far enough apart. See, it kind of came apart there. It'll work all right, it'll work out all right. This command strip is on, I don't know what happened with that. But it will come out just peachy keen.
La la la. Okay, is it ready? For now, if you're ready. You can, you can actually hear us. Wow. That's amazing. What? They can actually hear us when we're back here if we're loud enough. Well, that's easy for me. Yeah, but it's pretty easy for you. I have to actually yell. But this, this part kind of isn't. All right, let's grab that camera, guys. Sorry that you're looking at a blank wall. We still have more to do, but this is a... Yeah, so let's pop over to the camera here. Now these are gonna get painted gold, so this they have to they have to pretend for a second that these are gonna get painted the gold to match this. They're gonna go here and before. Oops. So I'm gonna end up um, painting gold. I'll have four over here, and I'll show you what will go in those. So gold painted of those. All right. Will you bring my snips? Yes. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Snips. No, you have them out there. Remember, you took you took the uh, staples out. No more final look. We all done. Print, cut, go. So.
So we were talking about those those things are basically the um, uh, natural fibrous type material to start little planters. So they're, you know, you put them in the ground and they'll actually dissolve and you can do it. So the natural look, I think, actually looks pretty good without having to paint them gold. Yeah, I think we've got, yeah, the crates are from uh, the dollar store. Thank you, Kim. And then we did uh, the cobalt blue and the shimmer splash to give it some uh, shimmery look. Da, da, da. Creative juices are flowing, says Kim. That's awesome. What, what are the white flower rounds? Um, where did you get the the puffs? Joanne's. At Joanne's. I always yeah. go to Joanne's when they clearance out their spring stuff, so I got them like 70 or 80% off. I don't remember. Yeah, so they were all on sale like 70, 80%, which is the time he gets everything. I go when it's, they're cleansing stuff out. Why do you not use the chalkboard that's already there? So if you didn't hear that, it is a painted, um, uh, the chalkboard paint. And because we use it over and over again, he's, she, he's afraid that it may eventually rub off. Will it? Don't know. But he likes the look of the frame on that board. Sorry, I keep looking at my microphone instead of you guys. Um, so that's why we're doing it. Yeah, the stars, the stars are really cool, Janelle. Yeah. Okay. Look now, final look. Okay, final look. Until, Let's go back. Get... Hold on. Uh, other done. Yeah. bought at the Dollar Tree confetti poppers and then I popped them and I was going to just string this in. But let me go see what it looks like. Jennifer, you can look to see what other people are selling stuff out. Something that's similar. Basically, you take the cost of whatever you let's say the board let's say you did a board the board is $24 so there's your starting point $24 because you want to pay for that you probably then want to pay uh, add how much time did it take for you to make it took an hour chargers you charge how much you think you're worth an hour 15 bucks an hour 20 bucks an hour that's up to you 
there's the added cost. So let's say it's 20 bucks an hour, $20 plus the $25 board, now you're at 45. Look at the cost of everything else. If there's anything else, put the cost of that in with it, and there's your, and then you can go a certain percentage from that if you want, or you can keep it at that point. But remember, you need to make enough where you do make money off of it. All right, I don't have any flowers. Well, I will have to buy some flowers. To what was? What? Yes, the transfer ego. That is a, it's a very old transfer. I don't think you can, it was, was that eagle an old? Yeah, it was way old. Like, it is many. I'll tell you, you want to know how old it is? It's so old, it doesn't have a white backer sheet. Yeah, it's it has got a, a clear backer clear sheet. Clear plastic backer sheet. All right. It. It's very old. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Did they, you want to do one final look? Are we good? We're good. We are good. We will come back next week and finish it because I do have something that's going to be at the bottom of the stairs. And we're actually going to convert these two boards because we had like a movie theater theme for our bed, our living room. So I'm going to put this on white and then I'm going to use it as a white surface to do some more patriotic stuff. So there you go. So don't forget, tomorrow we will be live at 1 p.m. We'll even do some projects live and have them bid from the start of the project to the end. So it'll be a lot of fun. Um, as always, be patient with us. We try our hardest to be on time at one, but if technology issues, dogs, that whole thing. Um, but uh, I'm really, really excited to see how much we can raise oh, and yeah. help these families. Um, thank you for helping me find my groove with this wall. I should have listened to you guys from the beginning on that dang eagle. As soon as I saw the finished result, I said, John, I want this eagle. And he was like, everyone told you. You should have listened. I should have. So uh, I hope you like the way it's turned out so far. We have a yep. few more little touches, and that will be done. We're going to go get some dinner, play with our puppies. Um, and we will see you guys tomorrow. If you can't come to the whole thing, I get that. Pop in when you can. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. If I don't see you, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye.